everyone, this is Kiwi for a new tutorial about Vocal Live, and today the, we're going to be talking about Vocal Live's tools, okay, that I use quite often. So let's press on it. Okay, what have we got here? We have three things. We have a vocal trainer, a metronome, and an audio demo. Um, don't don't really pay attention about um, on the audio demo. But uh, the vocal trainer is a great thing. I always use it to warm up my voice before recording. So, um, basically, let's let's have a let's have a quick look, okay, for, with a key D and a, a D minor scale, okay. Let's press play. Well, basically, it helps you to warm up your voice. You can change um, the key, so that was a D, but you can have a E, F, G. Um, let's have a G major. So here it's major and minor, and here you change the key A B C D E F G. Okay. So let's press play and have a look. This is awesome. This is really good um, to warm up your voice. I really suggest you to use it every time you want to record. Okay, so that's for the vocal trainer. Uh, down here we have the metronome. Okay, I never use it because I'm I don't use the the MIDI here. Okay, the iRig Pro, the iRig MIDI. Um, I don't use it because I record all my music through uh, GarageBand or Amplitude. Um, so, uh, for those who are um, recording through Vocalive the instruments with um, with the uh, iRig Pro and the iRig MIDI, I suggest you to to set up the metronome here. So, um, the, there's a BPM here. So you have two ways to set up the, the metronome, or you just click here, okay, and select the BPM wanted, okay, so let's say 80, but you can have different 80.9, okay, if you're done, just press OK, and turn on to have a look. Okay. So that's one way. The other way is just very simple. You just tap here to get your beat. Okay. Or just slide the metronome here. Okay. So that's very cool. Especially if you're using um, the iRig MIDI or the iRig mic. Um, the audio demo are just random singers singing and showing you uh, what audio, what, uh, sorry, what vocal I can do. Um, so, for example, uh, you have, uh, I think I have to turn that on. So that's more, um, that's a D, I think this is a D and a compressor um, effect, okay. Um, we have as well,
So yeah, you see all the effects being applied with the singers. There's a lot of compression, a chorus, a little bit of reverb. Um, so yes, use tools in vocal live, especially to warm up your voice. So yes, that was it for today. So that's it for today. Hope you liked this video, this tutorial about vocal live. Because there's a lot of things to say about vocal life, I decided to do plenty different little videos always talking about vocal life. So I invite you to go and have a look and to watch the other tutorials. If you're facing any problems, if you have any questions, um, please let me know, write a comment just here and I'll reply and try to help you as much as I can. So that's it for today. Hope you liked it. Please, if you did, put a like and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that was Kiwi, a music addict. Be inspired, be creative with Vocal Live and all the other apps. See you in the next video.